Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, AMA Expo West 2017, Propel Star Wars drones are a hit at CES, Lily Drone folds its tent. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. AMA Expo West was quite a transition for the a and crew, who went from the insanity of Las Vegas and the Consumer Electronics Show to the relative calm of the model aviation community. Incoming AMA President Rich Hansen spent a great deal of time with ANN chatting about the future of model aviation and the hobby drone community, and will feature those remarks in upcoming Aero TV feature interviews. By all appearances, the busy convention seemed a successful gathering. AMA's Jeff Nance, the organization's Director of Marketing and Digital Strategy, told AMA Drone Report that, quote, 2017 was another successful year for AMA Expo West. This year, over 4,000 attendees shot for deals from 90 exhibitors, listened to guest speakers from NASA, USC, Aero Design Team, RC Geek, Chris Wolf, and watched flying demos featuring the latest model aircraft. The West Coast event will be matched by an East Coast event in a little more than a month. The AMA Expo East is scheduled for February 24th through the 26th and takes place in Secaucus, New Jersey at the Meadowlands Exposition Center. You're watching the AMA Drone Report on Aero TV. We'll be back with more in a moment. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The ready-made RC company has scheduled their first FPV Fest for June 16th through the 18th. The event will be held at the International Air Modeling Center in Muncie, Indiana. Proceeds from the event will be donated to the AMA Foundation. Embry-Riddle is offering a free massive open online course to new drone owners through its online courses program. The course titled Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems, Key Concepts for New Users, runs from February 6th through the 19th. The Drone Advisory Committee is made up of drone industry and stakeholders in the drone business and was formed by the FAA as a federal advisory committee last year. Subcommittee meetings took place January 10th, while subcommittee task groups met on January 11th. Both meetings took place in D.C. and were undertaken with AMA involvement. The committee's second organizational meeting is set for January 31st. You're watching the AMA Drone Report on Aero TV. We'll be back with more in a minute. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you'd like to suggest a story for Airborne, the AMA Drone Report, Aero TV, our website or podcast, Drop an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Now back to the news. Drones come in all shapes and sizes, and we're finding out that their design purpose is almost limitless. Propel RC proved this point at this year's Consumer Electronics Show with their fascinating line of Star Wars drones. 
While these drones are obviously aimed at the market of fun and fantasy, the technology involved in their design and controllability is stunning. Propel RC put a lot of work into creating a drone design series that would match the challenge of the different flying vehicles in the Star Wars movie series. There are three iterations of these Star Wars drones with more to come, and the attention to detail brings the fantasy to life. However, it's not just that they look good, they also offer fantastic performance and handling, as a and Jim Campbell can attest to. These drones can be operated in a super simple mode, or in a mode that allows extreme maneuvering. Suggested list prices are about $200. a and is flight testing all three of these drone models now. Look for our expert aero test soon. The Lily Throw and Shoot Flying Camera Drone has been permanently grounded. The founders of the company announced that the company would be ceasing operations and refunds will be offered to those who had pre-ordered the drone. Antoine Ballarasque and Henry Bradlow sent an email announcing the decision to its customers, which was provided to ANN. According to the email, it appears that the Lilly family had been making steady progress with the development of the product, but have been unable to secure financing, allowing it to be put into production. The email states, quote, as a result, we are deeply saddened to say that we are planning to wind down the company and offer refunds to customers. The company says refunds are expected to be distributed within the next 60 days. However, in a recent update, it's reported the San Francisco District Attorney has filed a consumer protection lawsuit against the makers of the Lily, saying it lied to consumers in a video used to generate interest in the project and raise money. It seems there may be more to this than the story of a company that simply ran out of money. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And for more on the exciting hobby drone world, check out www.modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.